The Betelgeuse star, upon turning into a supernova, will carry with it a secret almost not revealed to us, something dark that contributed to the end of multiple star systems and that will also lead it to a much more intense and dramatic end. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the Orion constellation, located between 500 and 600 light years from Earth, recently attracted attention due to its dimming, leading scientists to speculate about a possible imminent explosion. It has revealed some discoveries, something that is causing a buzz among scientists. According to some of them, the sensation is almost as if they were watching a science fiction movie, traveling there to see up close, such exciting are the results. And the clue to this would lie in the fact that the star is spinning surprisingly fast for its size. These observations led the team of researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics, led by Jing Zhe Ma, to put forward a curious theory to explain this phenomenon. They suggest that Betelgeuse's rapid rotation may be an illusion caused by intense agitation on its surface, and the cause of this agitation would be involved in a dark secret from the star's past, which has a direct influence on its imminent explosion. For most people, stars are just bright spots in the sky. However, for scientists, the changes that stars like Betelgeuse have revealed show that they have activities so intense on their surfaces that even from a distance allow us to detect these movements through telescopes. And with that, theorists get excited to make predictions based on simulations, which over time are confirmed. Do a little experiment of how a supernova works, how we think a supernova works. Small container, which I will fill and then we put some water in and then see what happens is of course that there's sparkling bubbles coming and uh, gases and then we will see how it happens how it evolves this pressure building up and in the end we will see whether the lid stays on this container or not. <laughs> Betelgeuse stands out as one of the brightest stars in the night sky, making it a frequent study target. With a diameter that exceeds 620 million miles, it is over a thousand times larger than the Sun, placing it among the largest stars in the known universe. If it were placed in the Sun's position in our solar system, its vast size would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and its atmosphere would extend to the orbit of Jupiter. At this scale of size and mass, observations show that it is common to expect stars to have relatively slow rotation speeds. This is because during their red giant phase, when stars expand, effects on them cause the star's rotation to decrease, something similar to what happens with an ice skater when they extend their arms to slow down their rotation. However, recent observations of Betelgeuse, made with the ALMA Observatory in northern Chile, have revealed that the star is spinning at an impressive speed of about 11,200 miles per hour, which is approximately 20 times faster than a commercial airplane. And compared to the sun, it is still quite high when we consider its rotation of about 1029 miles per hour. However, the story becomes even more surprising when ALMA researchers used 66 radio antennas together as the only telescope to study the star. The observation revealed a curious phenomenon. Half of the star appears to be approaching Earth, and the other half appears to be moving away, which scientists interpret as indicative of rapid rotation. However, this interpretation assumes that Betelgeuse is a perfectly round sphere, which is contrary to what we observe here on Earth. The surface of this star, with huge activity bubbles, is turbulent. Some of these bubbles are so large that they could contain the entire orbit of the Earth around the Sun, they can rise and fall at impressive speeds, reaching up to an incredible 67,000 miles per hour. To study Betelgeuse's structure in detail, 
the team developed a new set of computing tools to process ALMA images and compare them with 3D simulations of red supergiant stars rotating at lower speeds. The team found that in about 90% of the simulations, Betelgeuse could be mistakenly interpreted as spinning tens of thousands of kilometers. All of this due to this large-scale boiling activity on its surface. However, if the team's predictions are correct, a darker explanation can be considered, the indication that it has recently been involved in cannibalism of another star. Researchers believe that Betelgeuse is rotating rapidly after swallowing a smaller companion star that was orbiting around it. This means that, until recently on the cosmic scale, this star was not just one but a binary system, which makes sense when we consider that at least half of the stars observed in the universe are composed of two or more stars. This often happens because stars typically form in the same cloud of gas and dust, keeping them gravitationally bound forever, depending on the distance. If confirmed, Betelgeuse, in its transformation, ended up swallowing its companion star. A similar example that can be observed in another famous star involves Antares, a red supergiant located 554 light-years from Earth. Antares has a companion called Antares B, which is separated by about 550 times the average distance between Earth and the Sun. Even though Antares B is much less luminous than Antares A, it is still about 170 times more luminous than the Sun. And over time it is expected to have the same fate as Betelgeuse's companion star. The team plans to use more observations of Betelgeuse to assess its speed and rotation and better understand how its surface influences these measurements, confirming or refuting this theory. With this, they will be able to answer many open questions about giant stars like Betelgeuse, including how they really function, how they lose their mass, and in detail what byproducts they generate and spread throughout the universe. This indirectly will answer why Betelgeuse has recently decreased its brightness so significantly and the most important question about how this could affect its explosion. This is because by absorbing material from the companion star, the star gains extra mass. This can both prolong its life because more material means more fuel for nuclear fusion that can delay its explosion and also the increase in mass makes the star more unstable. With pressure and temperature increasing in its core, eventually this instability can lead to an even more catastrophic explosion. Therefore, although the absorption of material may prolong its life, it may also be on the verge of triggering a much larger final explosion than expected. But due to the great distance, we would still be safe, limited to just a brighter glow than previously predicted.